let's just I won't buy you anything and then you don't buy me anything and that's yeah. and that's great and mm-hmm. then we don't have to we can just save yeah. our money and but everyone you know it's a, it's a whole circle of guilt rigmarole it is a rigmarole it is a rigmarole it's a racket uh, with my family I have instituted that policy I actually don't I like buying the things. I like buying the gifts. I like the going. I like the dealing. I actually like dealing with the crowds. It's the Christmas spirit. Really? It kind of feels fine. You're if psycho. You go, if you go early enough, like if I go this weekend, it's going to be fine. If you go the week before Christmas and I made that uh, bad, poor choice once and only once, it's chaos. And I don't ever want to do that again. Um, so I like being in the malls when it's Christmas time. I like seeing the trees. I was down in Fashion Island over Thanksgiving and they, because it was the day after Thanksgiving, they, they lit the tree up and it was really cool. Um, I like being around the spirit. I don't think that adults should get each other presents for christmas ever yeah i just think that past a certain age christmas is for younger people like for instance i'm going to aransky's we had aransky on the show a couple weeks ago going what up mike aransky phobia Phobia. available now check it out phobia movie um phobia just go find just watch (laughs) this yeah there's a movie get a phobia or just google phobia it's not a phobia of movies no it's a movie about phobias. Okay. Uh, I'm going to his uh, his daughter's two year old. Uh, her her second, <laughs> I love you so much. Her da- his daughter's birthday, <laughs> second birthday. And daughter had a birthday near Christmas. I know Shame. that's bad. That sucks Screw for her. That up, man. Like but brother. I'm looking forward, like I said earlier, in, in, in two topics prior to buying her a, a Disney present. Right? It's mm-hmm. fun. That's what it's for. Uh, one day, hopefully, I'll have a niece or nephew, and I'll buy them the crap out of Christmas presents. Out of mask toys. Yeah, man, you know man, you're man, gonna. Man, I'm just gonna give them a mask toy every year. At yeah. my old collection. And see if they notice, like see how long it takes. But yeah, I just think it's like, why do we do it? Why do we do it? It's a tremendous waste of money. Because you want to show that you love somebody that you don't talk to or see any other time of the year. Right. And so the best way to do it is to buy them a nut platter or some garbage. Right. Something from William Sonoma that no one's going to use. You're just going to put yep. in your drawer and never yep. you see it again. Mm-hmm. Give me the money. Help me pay off my bills or just get the fuck out. Just don't even yeah. bother. Don't give me anything. But I, mean, I really like buying presents for people. The perfect present's great. When you, but that's why I like giving gifts year round. When you see that's something what I'm that saying. fits with a yeah, person. Yeah, if I see something, I will buy it for them. Yeah. Like, pretty much no hesitation. I'm like, I want to give this person if I like them. If they're if they're in my like high tier of like, I will fucking buy you presents whenever. If not, fuck that. You ain't getting a present for me. I don't care yeah. who you are. Yeah. But yeah, Christmas and stuff, I'm just not down with that. Birthdays and stuff, I'm like, damn it. Damn it. And then I only I only buy presents for people when I'm guilted into it. On like on Christmas or on birthdays. It's very few people. You know, the, pre- the present I consistently forget or never think about is the wedding gift. Oh, Usually God. on the car to the wedding. I'm like, oh, you're supposed to get something for this, right? Mm. Yeah, you just get money. the card. You have, the money. Money. Yeah. you have a while a while after to get the wedding present. Well, yes, because nobody's opening them usually right away. Yeah, no, not, you can you can send it to them up to like six weeks after. It's considered okay. 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 I think really? Six, yeah. Does Christmas work that way? No. No Christmas if you don't no, get you it don't have day, Christmas is like anniversary or Valentine's Day. You got to hit it on the nose. You can go early for Christmas. See, I got to figure it out. I got to... I got to meet a girl whose birthday is around Christmas. No, 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 you don't want to do that. Sense. Here's why. My wife's birthday is on the 20th. Mm-hmm. Does that get me out of getting Double things? No, see, I want no. Christmas. It needs to be on Christmas. You still got to get Our gifts. anniversary needs to be Valentine's Day. So, so you don't then, get them? That's up to you. That's up to you. You can handle the Valentine's Day. You still got to get four. Yeah. It's worse because then you have to buy more or a bigger present. Big out of that. I'm okay with that. And it costs you the same anyway as two presents. For me, it's go big or go home. So if I'm going... I'm going big. Valentine's okay. Day. Oh, so we'll Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is the fucking worst. Is it's the worst. Dumb. It's the worst. Do not no, celebrate it. this holiday. If you're going to do it, Why? It's just, it's one day go like, out. You, that's one person and just a heads up and I love you. That's all it is. No, no, no. no. no that is no, not all not it is. If the, you go out on Valentine's Day, every restaurant has a fixed menu. It's twice as expensive. That's why you cook for your beloved. You can do that. That's fine. But what I'm saying is don't buy into the whole rigmarole. A Valentine's mm-hmm. Day, right? Don't take someone out. Don't get the, the, the crap chocolates. Don't yeah. worry about it. Don't give do me the Ninja something. Turtle cards. And, and by the way, you should not need one holiday to show your stamp from the other that you love her. But or sadly, him. you do. No, I don't. Yeah, it's val- like yeah it is. Because even my, my girlfriend, I it's think. It's not is, a real thing. She's pretty. She's pretty uh, a pretty down person. She doesn't, you know. I say things, you know, I'm very curmudgeon and I say things like, I fucking hate this. And she's like, well, all right, that's fine. But when I say, like, I'm like, I fucking hate Valentine's Day. Like, I fucking hate it. It's so dumb. It is a fucking ploy. It is a capitalist ploy to get us to spend money and it, it ruins guilt, relationships. It guilt you into spending money. And, 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 and she's like, no, I like it. I'm like, fuck. You know? Like, like yeah. I'm like, you know, it's like. You put up with my other shit. So I, I know. It's like, because then we have to, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, it, I, I want to, we go out to eat all the time. You know? Like, all the time. We go out to eat. 
we, we <laughs> fine establishments like Chick Fil A, yeah, Wingstop. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no, but <laughs> no, we like every like the twice, spaghetti two, factory. Two, twice a month or so, we go to a really nice restaurant and spend a lot of money. And you know, because we like to eat, I mean, we like we like food. And and uh, you know, we I buy her things when when I can, when I see them. On Christmas, I buy her like extraordinarily expensive gifts because I understand that it's important. Or I bought her a fucking Vitamix last year, which is really fucking expensive, like five hundred dollars. You know, so mm-hmm. and then I felt bad. I'm like, shit. I bought you like a domestic present. Yeah, but she was like, no, I love it. I'm like, all right. And this year, she wants me to buy her a mixer. I'm like, works for me. Benefits me very much. Uh, but with Valentine's Day, I'm just like, I just I want her to hate it so that that we can just not worry about it because then I have to. It's the flowers and it's the fucking. It's just too much for me to handle. We uh, yeah, too much. Yeah, my it's wife and I so don't. Much. We we will do. If Valentine's Day is a Friday or a Thursday, we will just go out and grab something. Our just the two of us. Obviously, that's all there ever is. Uh, <laughs> the day or two before. Those are like the, that's the one time I'm not invited to go <laughs> eat with you. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. It's true. You do that a lot. You come with us fun a lot. Um, yeah, I just I think it's just it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. And I hate that there we are constantly as a society, this is a corporate society that we live in, trying to make more Valentine's Days. More stupid things, yeah, like Dinosaur Day or something else like that. That's okay. This was take that's that back. Thing. It's not stupid. It's a real thing. Tim can verify. And people I don't are trying know that, but I hope so. No, there was there was every day. Like, well, like, day it's really. National Wing Day or something stupid like that. Those Just are, National whatever day. So hey, day. go out and buy someone a friggin' present and stoke yeah, see, the economy. I think the internet's yet. changed all this. Like that. Why was that made? No, they so were trying. Companies can get no, hashtags trending. Wasn't like the, cool. wasn't yesterday supposed to be like Green Day or something? Not Green Day. Was it uh, fucking Green Monday? Dude, green let's Monday. not even start with that shit. They're going overboard with this. It's going overboard, right? It's just too much. Like every day can't be special. What was Green Monday? Green Some Monday, days are just it's a cyber Tuesday. like it's Black Friday. Green Monday was just like the continuation, like the next way you like, to buy more stuff. Cyber Monday, yeah. then hey, Green Monday. Don't you, you like all, the everyone, deals? Everyone's complicit in it. You know that's the thing is like you know, I can tell you right now that Cyber Monday. Well, Cyber Monday is a different. I bought a hockey news subscription that day, I guess, for cheap. But like Merry well, Christmas but, to Colin. But Black, but Black Friday <laughs> was twenty five bucks for a year. It's awesome. It's a great deal. It's like a bi weekly magazine. <laughs> The the uh, complicit yeah but but <laughs> but on Black Friday like you never see me out there on fucking Black Friday well, the if everyone if everyone Black Friday as a thing where you go to but the internet makes it so easy you just sit home and fucking well that's really the answer right is that like Christmas shopping is a pain in the ass but I have nephews I have you know I have let's see now I have four nephews and and two nieces so I buy lots of presents I bought them a PlayStation three and stuff like that like I buy them like all sorts of shit because I love you know treating them nicely especially because I don't see them. Um, we rigged an election for my nephew last week. Did they win? Yeah, by a landslide. Yeah, he won. Yeah, he won. Yeah, yeah, we were totally rigged. So there's rigged an election. Yeah. Hey, it was, side it note, was, it was, just it, everyone out there, if you're gonna rig an election, don't go on camera and put that shit on. It's YouTube. not a it's real. Not, election. It's not really. It it's not really rigging it. Yeah. So my my, Sorry, my four year old my four year old nephew uh, entered this um, slipper this slipper con- design contest. And it's just like, and like, and it's like a person I think of each age, like eight, four through 10 or something. And they all designed like the slippers. He designed like little flamingo slippers and the, the top three winners. So that's why I didn't feel bad because the top three people win out of eight. Uh, they, their, des- their design gets made and they get sent to them. What about the other five kids that you totally asked out? Well, th- so I just, all you're, I said, you're, you're tainting this kid's perspective no, no, of the no, no, world. No, no, no. He, he, he learned, he learned what happens. Famous people win. Famous is good. But, but, so I just tweeted out and Greg tweeted out. I'm just like, you know, I could really use you know, your guys' help, but my, my nephew can use some votes. I tweeted thing. out, we're rigging an election, vote for Colin's nephew. <laughs> um, and, uh, and and lo and behold, he won the election. How much, but what was the final count? I don't know, I didn't look. He, 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 he won. It was, he, it was, did he cream that girl? I don't, I don't know. There was a girl, here's, the, here's the one thing, is it was rigged because the girl slipper were hamburger slippers that looked like hamburgers, and they were really good. And then this one, the Colin one, which I voted for, of course, had flamingo, Was it, it was a good looking flamingo, but then he had drawn on arms extremities and it's like well they're not gonna make that he's That's four the- years old she would the, the the person that he was competing against was 10 i think but but not but i, I remember what we we're talking about there but anyway it was a booty contest so he won the contest yeah he well he and the other girl won too and then one other person won what did he get out of it you they, the, they the, the design different. gets made i think for them and that's it they're not gonna include the legs guaranteed um but uh <laughs> but the point is that i try to do random nice things for them because i never see them right like yeah. so like my, my they put that on facebook and i'm like yeah i'm gonna do this for my nephew because i you know probably doesn't really know who i am you know um even though i just look i remember when i first when i, I saw him like last year and he was like miss fikes i look just like my brother and he was like just kept staring at me and i'm like i'm not your dad <laughs> I look like him a lot though. Um, <laughs> so like I just go on I just go on Amazon and I just, you know, I, I look I, I take some time and look through the gifts and there cuz there's so many options and I'm like this looks great for, you know, my niece and this looks great for my nephew or whatever and then I just put them all, you know, have them all sent to my mom 
in Virginia. Mm-hmm. And then my mom wrap wraps, them? wraps yeah. them up and gives oh, them Oh, yeah. That's, that's the station right See, there. I bring it. If I'm going to give kids gifts, I want to be there for it. It's like when I yeah. go back to Missouri or when I go back to Chicago and run to these kids, that's when I give them a lot of it's gifts. Like, it was me. Especially because it's out of the way. Well, I got to try to make sure they remember me because they mm-hmm. never see me. These kids yeah. age so fast, they forget all about you. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't have anyone like that. None of I don't, you know, I have one brother who isn't having kids. My sister in law, I think, is toying around with the idea of having kids. I want her to get pregnant fast. So that I can start buying really expensive things for the kid. The problem is that's not what's gonna happen. You're gonna it, it, it's a shit it's a shitty situation. Why? You're gonna have four years of having to buy shitty toys. Yeah, okay. You can't buy them the cool stuff yet. You can't yeah. get them the extra figures, the video games. Oh no, I'm gonna buy them all the cool stuff. I'm just gonna stockpile it for them. Like every video game system until they can actually play it. So they're gonna have like a PS4. When they don't even need it anymore. They don't need it, mm. but they'll have it. Right, exactly. And they'll be like, Tim, they'll just sell it on like eBay for like f- some sort of profit somehow. It, dude, it's so ex- it was so exciting profit. when my when my when two of my nephews got him. You know, one of my nephews is I think eight now or nine, mm-hmm. and uh, when he got old enough to like, it was a couple years ago, like old enough to really start playing games, even maybe more than that. I bought him a PlayStation Three. He was like so excited. I was so I was such the cool uncle, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I remember my sister just like shaking her head and being like, "Oh Jesus Christ!" You know, like what did you? That's do a very expensive. Game's been good to me. Like I was like the die is cast. All right, here's what I want to put on the yeah. record. Yeah, he's not playing football. The the Screw voting's that. closed, so they they've already hidden the results. But I do want to say that some they have other shoe designs on. Like I guess the real shoes, the real slippers. Shoes. They have a shark that has fins and a tail. So it's not impossible mm. that this flamingo might have arms. I still don't think it'll happen because he drew little stick figure crappy arms, do, and then they'd be like, they'd be like pipe, they'd be like pipe cleaner, cleaners coming off this thing, and then also the, it, this in reality this would be like a mutant flamingo because it's it's head, <laughs> its nose would be this big, but then <laughs> these little fucking arms. Why are you talking shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because the one thing about this, and I was talking about this with my anatomically I, correct. Problem. I was talking about this with my girlfriend is that here's what I loved about this: that some of those slipper designs. Looked like they might have gotten some help from some adults. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not, I'm not, oh. I'm not necessarily throwing some accusations out there. It just looked oh. like it just looked like maybe some were a little too clean. That hamburger, mm. that hamburger slipper did have. Says the man who rigged a four-year-old election. <laughs> <laughs> You're throwing those stones at that glass yeah. house pretty hard, my and, friend. And so I'm just gonna throw that out there. This was drawn by him by himself, and the reason I know this, this is the beauty of it. And this is why I was really proud of him and why I wanted him to win. And, and draw attention to it is because his parents are both professional artists yeah. and didn't touch that shit at all. Right. And that's why. And, and that's, they, did they cringe when they when they saw Oh, they it? probably were like, oh, my God, what is this? You know, my brother's an animator. He, he works for a huge company. You probably people out there have probably seen his work before. And my and my um, uh, sister in law is a fine artist, a painter, and she's an art teacher. So, like, they have bona fides, let's say. You know, they're able mm-hmm. to, they're, they're very good at what they do. And I like that when I looked at that design, there was no markings of any of my, you're like, this is, this is just yeah, terrible. Like, it's just, mm-hmm. let's get it. Let's get it. No, but sorry, you know it's, he's four years old. I mean, he did, it, it was a funny and a cute thing. And I, and, and in terms of the, the concept of the design, I think it's, it's certainly one of the better ones. Yeah. So I will say this. And you, won the you, taught him, you won the election. You taught him an interesting lesson, right? So every, when we grow up, we're taught to be fair. Everything we see, every TV show, every movie always ends with the person trying to cheat and then getting knocked down, but then learning the more important lesson, which is that cheaters never prosper, and you know you have to be, you know, true to yourself, and that's that's really winning. But in reality, that's not how it works. In yeah. reality, you lose, you use every leg up you possibly can to get ahead in life, right? That kid is going to remember that. Maybe he won't remember it outwardly, but subconsciously, he's going to become it, looking for those those advantages in life. And one day he's gonna grow up and he's gonna be Tim Gettys. It's gonna be fun. I knew I knew this was coming. I knew all of this <laughs> That's was what leading Tim Gettys. Tim, Tim, Tim Gettys wouldn't fight a fair fight if my life depended on it. I, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't. But do we'd it. win though. We but why? Win. But see, here's the thing about this, right? And I was talking. I was talking to someone about this with about this particular election. Was all I said on Facebook and on Twitter was, "Hey, my my nephew's in this uh, drew this design. He could really use your vote. Mm-hmm. Please vote if you have the time." You know. And people voted. And some people even posted, like, I got to vote for that other girl or that other person that, that designed sure. it better. So I, I definitely got votes for other kids. That's the first point. The second point is a secret ballot. I, I'm, not, I'm not holding a gun to anyone's head and telling them to go to this sure. thing and vote. And if you go to this thing... <laughs> this is so cer- funny how serious this certainly, is. Certainly you can go vote for anyone else. You know, I'm, I'm, cha- I'm, I'm <laughs> switching my point on this real quick, though, because I just realized that the, how is this any different than a lobbyist? I, well, th- this is the point I was... This, this is a super PAC. This is the, well, this is the point I was making. <laughs> a, 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 no, a person... We don't have you know, a, a Politician A goes on, on Twitter and is like, please go vote for me today. Or someone supports a, a candidate or endorses a candidate and says, go vote for me. It's really literally no different. Yeah. We, we're, we're using the word rigging because it's funny, but... In 
reality, like you're doing no different than like yeah, it's than an like internet being vote. like you all could have voted. Sorry, yeah. all your other shitty parents and fucking cousins didn't have an internet show, but look at us now, right? <laughs> and and the if your design is <laughs> the funny thing is that we kept going back and forth with another contestant that clearly had tons of people that that supported her as well. Well, that was before I threw my my power behind the the flamingo shoe. I'd like to think that the, after that it was off to the races and it was over, and that girl was just like. Couldn't understand it. Yeah, she's looking at these numbers. This flamingo she's putting up. It's like, da, 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 da. but it makes him. You know what? I uh, what I'm happy about is it makes it makes him feel good and and yeah. That's really and loved and and it really. I mean, these kinds of things. No one's organically voting in this slipper contest, right? This is like people going on Facebook <laughs> and like being, please vote. Please like this isn't like an essential issue, right? Like people are are, are putting on you know parents and, and cousins all putting on going Facebook, being like please right. vote for this thing or whatever. Right. And then we it's just not making mo- CNN, right? Exactly. And we yeah. just had the most support. Oh well. And some some kid wrote on, the, on my thing. He's like, you know, you're. you're you know this is you know you're ruining the something like you're ruining the election or whatever and i'm like it's the grassroots vote game bro this is how every election works you got to get down you got to get down in the trenches fucking knock on some doors and that's what i'm doing right now i'm yeah. knocking on some doors i'm asking for, i'm asking for your support by physically getting down in trenches and or knocking on doors you just tweeted exactly but it's the same thing really yeah. exactly so i'm happen. proud of him good for him he, he won he's gonna have his fucking slippers now good that's awesome i'm really the moriarty is, clan wins good story do they make them in man size can, can i, I have some of these switchers i'd uh, like to i don't some. know we'll find out i guess right. once hey question mm. why don't we wear slippers on this show i'm i would feel way more comfortable right now if my feet and my toes were in some slippers instead of these vans okay. i don't know i like i like we could shoes. get kevin some slippers so instead of putting his feet on the wall he could be putting oh yeah i love that way you put your feet on the wall it's good yeah that's awesome kev thanks for leaving footprints son on of the a wall bitch kevin Oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. A <laughs> couple things about Kevin. People don't know as mm-hmm. they as they get to know Kevin a little bit more. He's a very close talker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's he true. He likes to be close to you. Mm-hmm. He thinks it's funny when you're in the middle of your most stressful point of the day to come up and be irritatingly close to you. Says the guy today who I have headphones on. It's not going well. Tim's been hearing me curse all day at Adobe mm-hmm. Premiere. And you come over like... Oh, Last of Us, huh? Start playing. You're like, ooh, can I walk into this wire? What's that thing over there? <laughs> no, I'm like, you've played this game. Like, you've played this part. Just go. I don't know what it is about Greg, but people think that Greg is mean to me. I have it coming. I'm very antagonistic against him uh, uh, during the day. I screw with you a lot because I also yeah, know that you, you are focused on a billion things. Sometimes I'll ask you questions that I know the answer to or I don't even care about the answer. <laughs> I'll just throw it out there. <laughs> Greg, what's the square root of nine? Well, you know, I don't answer that question. Isn't it three? Yeah, but I don't care. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who gives a shit? Yeah, it's, a, it's a really, it's a really interesting dynamic because the three of us, Why me, me Nick, next and Greg, sit right me. next to each other in a triangle, and then Collins is just way off over in this dark corner that he took the lights out of because he needs it. He needs it dark. It's vampire. funny because we can never see him, but then when when Colin needs to say something to us, he'll step up and he does this thing where. He's it's a little prairie, prairie dog. dog. You know, it's that prairie, prairie dog move. It's awesome. Prairie dog. And but otherwise, yeah, man, the interactions between us usually are just me and Nick will be saying something. Usually it's, you know, offensive. It's inappropriate. Yeah. And then Greg, Greg just does, he does the thing where he just kind of sits there. And just, sometimes we'll get a G's. Yeah, every once in a while, the G's. Well, if you think they're bad on this show, imagine what they're like when there's no camera and microphone. Oh, on them. when we can say whatever we really think. Yeah, it's intense. You, I get a chuckle out of you every once in a while. Yeah, I think you guys I, are funny. I break you, even though you, you're, and and I see the disappointment in your eyes with yourself when you laugh at a joke that I say. Sure, that's you not just, you, you know, can't you. stand it. You can't stand that can't I made you laugh. You. you can't stand it. Can't you. stand you. Can't stand you. So, Chris, what was that guy's name, Mister Bevilacqua? How do you remember these that things? Right? <laughs> Seinfeld, the, the Seinfeld gym teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big bean teacher. teacher. Yeah, yeah. M- Mr. Bevilacqua, I think his name was. All right. Yeah. Can Tropic of Cancer. Seinfeld was genius. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Christmas shopping sucks. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Everybody should stop doing it. Yeah. Last thing that I want to say is people should use Christmas to force themselves on other people. Whoa. You want to clarify that a little bit? You want to clarify that a little bit? I'm going to clarify. Yeah, 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 that shouldn't them. be the last thing you say. <laughs> you should probably clarify. The that. episode just ends. <laughs> Hard cut. Bing, bing, no, 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 no. Bing. Like if you if you want something, like if you want, Jesus, Tim. <laughs> if you want to play PlayStation, then you should get someone that you live with a PlayStation. You know, mm. and then stuff like that. It's just like Mm-mm. use Mm-mm. Christmas because you're forcing yourself to. That does not yeah. work when you're married. You will get that part. Like I wanted an iPad mini. And if I got my wife that mm. iPad mini, I would never be able to touch it. Well, that's never. different. You need something that's, you know, at least somewhat shareable. Sure. Yeah. Unlike an iPad, I guess. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. iPads are pretty shareable. They don't let, it's actually coded to people's DNA. So you can't use it if it's. Oh, now yeah. that, does the, does the, does the iPad thumb, have the thumbprint? They do. The new ones do. The yes. new ones do. Mm. They're a sham. 
Get the iPad Mini 2. You got the 3? No. I got the oh. 2. Oh, okay. Remember we had this conversation? Yeah, I was like, should it. I go take it back and get a 3? And you're like, dude, are you dumb? Don't sounds, get the 3. Like Kevin, good. did you hear what you just that, said? That and Kevin's like, like yeah, man, I heard what he just said. That does sound like Kevin. And, I was, and then he came hey up man. and like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. He comes up super fast. Like, you, you don't even, I can't even hear you coming up. Sorry about putting I my just, shoes on the wall, man. I like feel you. When you're behind me, and I, 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 I like smell this like, just this like salsa infested breath on the back of my, <laughs> and you have like you kind of have a fish smell to you because I don't like you eat a lot of lunches, and you'll just be like, <laughs> and you'll just be like. I <laughs> did you. One time he brought the salad with fish go. in my car, and I was like, I'm never letting this go because it stung no, my car up for like a month. Because you, <laughs> you smelled of it. You just smelled of it, it Kev. Fantastic. God, he's like a ninja. That one. Just, like, so at what early, point of the salsa breath smelling of fish did you go, yeah, that ninja's sneaking up on me? Did he throw some caltrops on the ground and fucking <laughs> scatter up in the shadows? <laughs> 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 <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the Game Over Gruggy Show each and every week. Four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table. Each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, there are plenty of ways to get the show starting each and every Friday over on Patreon.com slash Funny. You go over there, you throw us a few bucks, you get it early. You get the videos, you get the MP3. If you go to the right tier, you get the Google Hangout. We want to do that next week we're talking about. Yes. So if you're hearing this, yeah. So this week. Right. Well, I'm talking mainly the patrons already, I guess. Okay. It, it, everything we do is <laughs> all the exclusive Patreon content gets archived, so you can go back and catch up on previous episodes that we've done for patrons only. Yes. You can go to whatever. And but, we're still on Bandcamp, and we're still on Vimeo. Yeah. So if you guys want want the shows early, a la carte. Yeah, just like one at a time. Yeah. You can still more do that. like a la fart. Damn. You God, man. I nailed it. An hour nailed and 40 it. minutes into the show, and you brought the A game. Nailed yeah, it. Man. Nailed At least it showed up once. Uh, if you are looking for Christmas gifts for your friends and family, remember <laughs> there is kindoffunny.com slash store for t shirts like my team fat one. And of course, the coffee mugs. Everybody drinks coffee. I need to get myself one of those coffee mugs. You won't do it, though. I don't you drink coffee make... at home. That's my problem. Really? Starbucks gives you a mug in the form oh, of a plastic go. cup. Yeah, yeah. That's, it holds a venti, uh, which is 20 ounces. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there oh others, I love that. Aren't there other cup sizes? It's a grande. No. A grande. It's not. It's a 16 it's ounces. The Trenti is 30. Yeah. That's too much. That's ridiculous. That's too much? That's where you've crossed the line? It's too much. It's is like, it, it's wait, like getting on. the is party. Is it the Trenti or is it Trenta? It's Trenta. Okay. Trenti Can't is Can you let me have anything? No. Because I've never had one of these yet. Have you oh, had one? they're amazing. Someone screwed up and they gave me one by accident. They only charged me Did for a pay- venti, oh, and it was the best day of my life. Mm. But it's just a little too much. Yeah. So unlike our experience at Burger King, where they gave me less soda. How, how m- oh, man, that girl. Was let's not, let's she not was just mad at you. She was just not happy with you. If you don't think we're worth the money, you can go to <laughs> YouTube.com slash kind of funny and get the day-by-day, topic-by-topic breakdown before we put the whole show up on Friday, including when we put it up on iTunes. Yes, you which like- we'll catch up eventually, soon. All right. I don't know when. Looking at you. But soon. It's I'm doing you. it. I'm doing all I can, man. Seems, doing all seems, I can. Seems like you are, and yes. I appreciate your work. I'm trying. And I love you, and you look love good you. tonight. Thank you. Guys, it's been fun to podcast with you. Thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been our pleasure to serve you. <laughs> catch, a little, catch a little bit of that? I, DJ Kev. Throw me a beat, man. That's my South African accent. Oh Did anyone watch Peter Pan Live? We watched some of you. Boy. What? Which one? Peter, Peter Pan, Pan Live. Live. Hashtag no, Peter Pan Live. Nah. You should probably just save this for the show, too. Anna Kendrick was live tweeting it. Was she good? Was she funny? Oh, she's so good. Yeah. How was Captain Hook? Is, uh, or uh, Walken is Captain Hook? Was it, was it good? I haven't even seen anything. Uh, you know, Walken's He's always fine. good. He's fine. <laughs> God. He won't grow up. It was. It was... Did he talk like that? It's yeah. <laughs> it's the only, he can only talk one way. Huh? He can only talk one I way. I know, but he was really delivering lines like walking. In yeah. That. It was Peter. hysterical. <laughs> Peter. Why you always got to be so young? <laughs> <laughs> All right.